Assalamu alaikum guys this is Muzir Khan and you are watching my youtube channel that name is let's design together so guys in today's tutorial we are going to create the social media post design and that is for digital marketing agency so without wasting any time let's begin So guys you can see I have simply opened the new document from here you can rename it even though I have already discussed each and every part of this new document in my previous video so I will give the link of that in the i button and as well as in my description so you can learn how to create the sizes and how to go for the sizes in graphic designing okay so from here you can rename it so I have renamed it to social media post design and that is the size 750 by 750 and that should be in pixel and the orientation can be everything because these both are same and the resolution will be 300 and just simply click on create so guys once you click on the create so now you can see the new blank page is open so now what we have to do we will just create a background at first so let's go for that I will click on the adjustment layer button and click on the solid color and note the color code so that is the color code 0072FF okay and click on OK and after that what you have to do just select the brush and go to the brush setting and click on the sun brushed brushes okay so from here I will select the second one and just simply now create a new layer and even though if you don't have this brush so I will give the link of this brush in the description so that you can download and extract and after that you will import it so now I will just minimize the page and decrease the brush size with brackets sign okay so now the size has been now decreased and now just press D for default color and then click on this button or you can click on shift X for white color and then just paint over that okay so that's enough and now what you have to do just click on the opacity right and give it opacity 50% and from here you can change the blending mode so I will change the blending mode to color dodge okay so that's enough now I will give more opacity so the opacity will be like 35 yeah 35 is good for me right so now guys you can see I have created the background so I will select both of them and click on ctrl G for group and I will just rename it to background okay now what you have to do just click on the lock button so that will be locked which means that it's not gonna be disturb you in your coming steps okay so what you have to do now we have to go for something like vector shapes okay we will create a vector shape so how to create it let's do that also I will click on this and select the ellipse one and uh, just with shift and alt key draw this and after that what you have to do I will change the color to white and now zoom that thing and as well as select the move tool and with alt key make a duplicate and again with alt key with alt key and with alt key now select all of them and again with alt key make another duplicate line right and yeah so now what you have to do you have to select all of them here you can see that's been selected now just click on ctrl E for merging these layers and just rename it to dot vector shape so after that what you have to do just select this and ctrl T for transform and now adjust it where you want to put that so I'm gonna put it in this corner right and now I will go for copy ctrl J right ctrl T and then simply drag it towards the top right corner as well okay so now we will create another vector shape so for that I will select the ellipse tool right and draw a circle with shift and alt key okay and that it will be in white color okay so 
so i will just give it white color and then what you have to do just click on the move tool and after that with alt key drag it down okay now select this layer now i will convert it to stroke so i will just click on the ellipse tool again right and disable the fill okay give it the white color to the stroke and give it six points okay so that's enough now what you have to do i will just click on the fill circle okay and give it opacity which should be 50 percent okay now what you have to do i will bring this layer beneath that one and that's done okay and even though and even though i will adjust it now i will select this layer and adjust it with my another shape right and after that what you have to do i will select both of them and adjust it i will put it at this corner okay and now with alt key i will adjust it to the down right corner as well okay and from here you can see we have also created the vector shapes so i will select all of these with shift key okay and now click on ctrl g for grouping and just rename it to vector shape so that's done now i will also log it so it's not going to be disturbed me okay now we have to go for our shape right like i will select the rectangle tool okay and just minimize my page and draw a rectangle okay that's enough for me now i will just give it 50 person counter okay and just enable the fill color to the white once you do that just adjust it at first right so and now what you have to do I will just go to the file click on the place embedded and now I will embed my PNG image okay so now what you have to do I will just click on that and adjust it so let's rename it to the png image after that what you have to do you have to create another copy ctrl j for copy now select the png image layer one okay and just right click and click on the create clipping mask and after that what you have to do just select the first one and click on the add layer mask button and after that what you have to do just with ctrl key press on this shape I mean to say on the rectangle one okay once you click on that then control shift I now what you have to do you have to select the brush and after that just click on the brush setting and now I will select the general brush so I will click on the hard round okay and now what you have to do I will decrease the size a little bit okay so that's gonna make my object more better okay but remember what you have to do the foreground color should be black okay and note that layer mask is selected and now zoom it little bit and go for that and now erase this area okay so that's enough yeah now I will click on ctrl D for disabling the selection okay now I will select this shape like rectangle one rectangle one okay and I will click on ctrl J for duplicate okay so now I will convert it to the stroke so before that I will give it the name to stroke okay now I will just select the rectangle tool and disable the color okay and select the stroke color after selecting the stroke color i will give it the five points okay now ctrl t for transform and adjust it select the move tool and adjust it now what you have to do i will create the another copy ctrl j and ctrl t for transform and adjust it again okay so that's enough now i will create a shadow right but for that what you have to do i will just click on this layer one now i will right click and click on blending options okay now what you have to do i will click on the drop shadow okay so from here you will see the shadow okay so let me give the shadow and give the direction 45 yeah that's enough okay 
and just simply click on ok now i have to copy this shadow to both of these right so how to do that without going there again and again just right click and click on the copy layer style once you click on copy layer style now select this one right click and click on paste layer style now select this one also and right click and click on paste layer style okay so now what i have to do i have to adjust the color of the female as well okay so now what you have to do just select the eyedropper tool from here and just click on the dark color of her female eyes right so i have already selected just click on the adjustment layer and click on the solid color after that you will see that okay and click on create clip in mask and after that what you have to do, just change the blending mode okay so i will change it to the something like saturation okay but i will just change the color as well yeah so that's enough for me just not this color okay and go for that so here is the before and here is the after which really suits my social media post design okay now i will select the move tool and select all of them after that click on ctrl g and for grouping and just rename it to clip in mask shape okay and lock it also so that's not gonna disturb us again okay and bring a ruler right so i want my text from here i mean to say from this side okay so now what you have to do just click on the type tool and write it okay like digital now remember my size of text is 12 points and the font name is gotham and the book fun family is selected which means the thin okay not the bold okay and just simply click on the enter and after that control t for transform and move it and which really suits your line okay now go for top something yeah so that's enough for me now i will just click on the control j for duplicate control t for transform now bring it down and after that what you have to do just click on the type tool it's already selected and make a selection and after that just change the font from book to bold okay and now i will write the digital marketing marketing now select all of them and change the color i want something like yellowish yeah so that's enough for me and click on okay yeah what you have to do now i will just simply click on the control j control j for duplicate control t for transform and bring it down okay and simply i will make a selection okay and i will write the agency agency and just select all of them and now change the color from yellow to something whitish okay and just give it the 12 points so so now what i have to do i will select this one okay and give it the 14 points i want it to look something like boldish okay now select them and bring it down and now select all of them and click on this button okay and as well as click on this button okay now adjust it as according to your ruler yeah so that's enough yeah so now what i have to do i will select all of them again for and move it to the top okay so that's enough now what i have to do i have to give little bit of shadow so just right click on the digital layer and click on the blending mode and click on the drop shadow yeah so here you can see the shadow is too much so i will bring it something like this yeah so that's enough for me and you can see the setting okay so you can go for it so now what you have to do we will do the same step right click and click on the copy layer style and after that paste it on other layer as well now select the rectangle tool okay and draw a rectangle but something like thin okay now what you have to do you have to select the color the fill color that will be 
uh, white okay and as well as the roundness the roundness will be something like 20 percent okay and now zoom it little bit and move it from and adjust it control t again and with shift key move it here okay so now what you have to do now i will move it to the top little bit okay and just close this panel first yeah so now what you have to do i will just click on the tab tool and by default text is needed okay so i will select the front family that will be book and go for something like six points but for me the four points will be better right and now what you have to do the color is also white so just click on the into okay so now i will adjust the rectangle again so select that and click on the control t and zoom it first okay and adjust it okay now do the same step control zero for the page fixing okay and right click on that and click on the paste rear style okay so now what you have to do everything has been created i have to create a button now just select the rectangle again and draw a rectangle okay and give it the roundness which will be 20 percent again and give it the fill color white okay and do one step again just right click and click on the paste layer style and just adjust it first yeah so zoom it before everything and now i will just click on the type tool again and click on the link page and just write like get started okay now just select the all of them and give it the color okay so i want to give it this color and just simply click on okay and just click on enter again control t for transform now move it to the top and give it little more size okay so for me that's enough now i will select both of them and after that align it okay so this alignment is better now i will select this text and right click and click on the paste layer style okay so the last step and i want my social media icons to be embedded so just go to the file place embedded embed the whatsapp icon okay and give it and adjust the size okay and simply yeah that's enough again file place embedded embed the icon File, place bit it. Now give little bit of space, right? And don't worry about the alignment. Just select all of them and from here give the alignment. Okay. So that's enough. And just adjust it okay so that's enough right now you can disable the ruler with control plus semicolon okay so that is disabled and now you have to do the last steps so just click on this layer and right click and click on paste layer style right click and click on paste layer style and right click click on paste layer style and after that just select all of them right and click on Control G and just rename it to text with icons yeah so that's enough for today so guys if you like this tutorial like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get each and every single notification of my other videos thanks for watching and see you at next tutorial